Hey everybody, this is Brian, and welcome to the 6th Yi 2 tutorial. Um, wanted to kind of, yeah, tongue-tied there for a minute, wanted to kind of take a step back, um, mainly because, well, I formatted my computer. I started all over. I actually uh, dual boot Windows 7 and Ubuntu Linux, and if you've been paying attention, per permit me a brief rant. If not, just fast forward for 30 seconds. Um, basically, I've been on Windows 7 primarily for gaming. I used to be a hardcore Windows developer, and I got really sick of Windows. Um, I don't know why, I just didn't like it for anymore compared to Linux, but whatever. Um, point being, Windows 7 kept popping up. Try Windows 10, try Windows 10, try Windows 10. So finally, I just, you know what, screw it. I'll just try it. Um, but of course, being the nerd I am, I didn't do an upgrade. I did a clean installation. So I just said, you know, screw it. Blew away the entire partition tables. Everything's gone, clean hard drive. Reinstalled Ubuntu and Windows 10. Actually, Windows 10 first, then Ubuntu. It was incredibly easy. I was really surprised. Um, not just Windows 10, but Ubuntu. Just making everything dual boot has gotten much easier over the years. So, anyways, now resumes the tutorial. Um, if you have been following along and you made this template, our little pet store here, and you kind of go click, everything works, click, oh, what's this? You know. This is because we have a bare bones installation of LAMP, Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP, and we need to fix this. So that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. I just wanted you to be aware of how to actually spot these kind of problems before they become problems. So how would we know that? Well, if you go to, and here's our, our root of our localhost pet store, this is our website, you'll see this requirements.php. This is a file ye2 generates. We can go out and look at this. And it says, your server configuration satisfies the minimum requirements by this application. Notice the word minimum. Whoops. There we go. Please pay attention to the warnings listed below. And this will tell you exactly what's going to not work. International extension, ICU extension. Is that international? I'm pretty sure that is. No, 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 no. I should probably read this. Latin languages. Yeah, okay. Um, and you can kind of, you know, I just Google these things. Like uh, memcache, you know. This is actually what we need to do. If we go out to that error message, it was GD PHP extension for free type or image magic. You need one of those two for the captcha, the little thing that you type in stating you're not a robot. So really, I just go out to Google. I say, hey, operate, you know, my operating system's Linux. So I say Linux, install GD, and then boom, there's the direction. So on Nixcraft, here it is. And we're just going to do, and I'm just going to do this real quick, see if we can fix this in real time. If not, I've just had a horrible day, so I will just kick and throw a monitor across the room. All right, so we need to do a sudo, obviously. And we're going to paste. Whoops. How in the world did that happen? I'm gonna paste that. We're going to sudo apt-get install php5-gd. I need to enter my password. And da -da 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 -da. And it downloaded. All right, now, if you try this again, you'll see that it does not work. Why? Well, Apache has these things called extensions, and so does PHP. And we need to actually restart Apache to get all those extensions loaded back into memory. So let's try sudo uh, service. I'm not even really reading the directions. I'm just kind of winging it here. So I may actually have to uh, go back and read the directions. But we're going to do sudo service Apache 2 restart. And that should have effectively shut down the Apache service and restarted it. And voila, our caption now works. Now, if you've gotten to this point and it's still not working, I would recommend doing a fresh install of PHP or, and I'll leave this part up to you, you can try the image magic, which I think is a little more involved. I've always just done GD because it's just one command and you're done. Um, but I wanted you to be aware of this requirements document. If we haven't discussed this already, this can save you a lot of headaches, especially when you move from your development box to your production box. Like if you're going to put this out as a public web server, you may get out to your public hosting agency or your hosting company and find that, hey, they don't have some of these installed and you need these installed before you can continue. So that's really it for this tutorial. Um, wanted to just say I'm... I appreciate you guys watching. I really love the feedback, but I just don't have the time to go through it all. I just I have to come to that conclusion and admit that to myself. Um, I have many, many, many other tutorials out on my site, and I get a bunch of subscribers. Um, I'm by no means the biggest site out there. I don't really want to be. I actually want to be kind of specialized here. But um, 
I really enjoy hearing your guys' feedback, so definitely, you know, hit me up with questions or comments. Now, the fastest way to get a hold of me, voidrums.com. Um, I should note, my friends are always on me about this. This site and all the tutorials are run by your donations. So if you're a millionaire and you want to float some money my way, great. Otherwise, if you're a college student and you're eating ramen noodles, don't donate. Uh, but anyways, you click on contact and there's a link to the Void Rums Facebook group. Um, I get a lot of people that will you know, just message me directly on Facebook or they'll email me. And if you email me, I guarantee you it's going to sit there for six months before I even see the message because my inbox is just wrecked most of the time. Um, and I think that something on my host is actually deleting the emails or somebody's in my mailbox reading my mail because friends have said, hey, I emailed you to get my mail. And I'm like, nope. Anyway, so you go to the Facebook Void Rums group and there's almost 400 people in there ranging from all sorts of languages, PHP, C++, .NET, Java, you name it. Um, so quick, short, easy tutorial. I have to finish setting up my box and patching it and all that good stuff and then we'll get right back to where we left off on this tutorial. Alright, thanks for watching.